I've got five eggs chopped up in one bunch of green onions and the yeast is proofing. We'll see if this package is still okay. It expires this month but it should still be good. And I'm gonna just season it with some Cavenders all-purpose Greek seasoning. I love this stuff. So we'll start with that. There it is all mixed up. I think my eggs are probably a little too big but it smells great. It smells awesome. I've got two tablespoons of sugar, quarter teaspoon of salt, which she mentioned she used salt in the video, but I didn't see her put it in the bucket. Uh, I'm using flax oil instead of sunflower oil, so that could be a mistake. And two sticks of butter. I thought she used about a pound of butter, or four sticks. So we'll see. Uh, I'm basically trying to have a recipe. And I'm gonna start out with three cups of flour and we'll go from there. Melting the butter and the water until it's all dissolved and then I'll add the the rest of the kefir, the half water, half kefir part of the recipe. Here is kefir or kefir, not sure how you pronounce it. I had never used it or seen it before. I found it at Walmart. It tastes uh, just like liquid yogurt or it's also similar to buttermilk. So it's been proofing for 30 minutes. I don't know if it's risen very much. I might let it go a little while longer. Another five minutes. The dough is going through its second proofing or rising. I buttered all the pans. I added two more eggs or three more eggs. To the filling because I've got a lot of dough and uh, yeah I, even after having her recipe I, I still have a bunch of dough so it's also not rising as well as I think it should be so we'll see how it comes out it's kind of flat still it's not rising like I thought it would I mean it's it's springy but I thought it would be overflowing the bowl so we'll see. Here we go. We'll start making each one. There I've got all the onion and egg filling ones done. And I've still got some dough left over so I'm going to make some more filling of something. Cheese, turkey, whatever meat I can scrounge. So I used up all the eggs so there we go. Ready to bake. Here's the first batch. Fumbled around, finding the right temperature. Ended up being about 365 for about 32 minutes. And I put a little butter wash on top that looks like the bun soaked it up already, so I'll give them a taste. All right, now for the taste test. Uh, the color doesn't look as good on the phone as it does in real life. It's really a nice golden brown. I think it's a good bake, as they say. Pretty plain. I mean, it's good and hearty. The dough is good. Not quite a biscuit though. It's a plain dough, but yeah. Maybe need some more seasoning, some more salt. Pretty bland for having all those green onions in there, but it's good. Here's a better picture of the filling. Yeah, they're tasty. I'm glad I put the little bit of Greek seasoning I did in the filling because that helps it a lot. But I think it needs something else. Cheese or something pretty dry. Hearty though. This would last you on a day hike. I mean there's nothing to go spoiled in there really. 
Here's one from the second batch. It's filled with turkey and gouda cheese. And this baked for 35 minutes at 360. So that one's looking pretty done. The dough is all cooked, it looks like. Maybe slightly underdone. But no. Came out good. There's the second batch of mostly turkey and gouda cheese filled ones. That'll last me a while.